Hello and welcome along to another lesson with Mr Burns. Today we're still going to look at the equation of a straight line but what we're going to look at today is we're going to plot variations of y equals mx plus c. So it's important that you know that a straight line takes us form. Alright, but if we change this equation about, if we change the left hand side equal to the right hand side and not just the y is equal to the gradient multiplying by x plus the intercept. If we were to look at it like this, this is also the equation of a straight line. So that's a variation of y equals mx plus c. And how about this? equals zero. Alright, so that's another variation and then we could keep varying that just by changing the side and changing the operation. Positive y, negative y. Okay, so in particular today we are going to look at forms which are not y equals mx plus c and we're going to plot it in that form, right? There are other methods uh, to do this. So we are going to look at, let's say in general, ax plus by is equal to c, okay? And these are just variables, right? a, b and c are, are a member of the real numbers, right? They can take any value at all. So it's not necessarily that C is that C. This is just a general equation of a straight line. A is a multiplier of X. B is a multiplier of Y. And that's equal to some value of C. Okay, so our left hand side is equal to our right hand side. Whatever multiplies X and whatever is added to that, that's B is multiplying Y, is equal to that C value. Okay, so let's look at an example. Let's look at plotting the graph of x plus 2y is equal to 10. Okay, so we could rearrange this formula. We'll do that later on. Rearrange this formula into y equals mx plus c and look at the methods that we've discussed already. However, we are going to look and concentrate on finding pairs of coordinates when x and y are both equal to zero. Okay, so we'll find those intercepts on the x and y axis. Okay, so we know that on the x axis there is no y value, there's no uh, there's no vertical increase or decrease, right? We also know on the y-axis, x is equal to zero. So let's take it in that order, right? So let's say x equal to zero. So when x is equal to zero, zero plus two y, is equal to 10. Now remember the left hand side is to equal the right hand side. We have replaced x by zero. So 2y is equal to 10. So y is equal to five. Two fives are 10. All right, so that means we've now got a coordinate pair, zero, five. Okay, so it crosses the y-axis at 5. So let's say that's there. Okay. Now, let's find the other pair. When y equals 0, so this will intersect on the x-axis. There's no height. There's no vertical distance. So x plus 2y, so two zeros. Let's just show the substitution step. It's very important. Two zeros are zero. A zero and another zero. Repeated addition is multiplication. 
x equals 10. So therefore our coordinate is 10 and 0. Okay, so let's say that's along here, 10 and 0. So that's us found the intersections, okay, on the y and the x-axis. Now because this is a linear equation, right, x is power 1, right, the exponent base x is 1, this is the straight line, so we can then draw a straight line right through that. Okay, I'll show you how to do that using Desmos in a second, okay? Thanks for watching.